Contact Center Overview. The Interaction Center provides agents with an easy-to-use interface to respond quickly to voice chat and email interactions. It also offers supervisory coaching functions, such as silent monitoring, silent coaching, and barge in for voice and chat interactions. Logging in and out of the queues. Launch the Contact Center client. The client interface is now accessed via a URL address in your browser. Your administrator will provide all agents and supervisors with the URL address or provide a shortcut on your desktop PC. To log into the queues, click Log into my queues. When you are successfully logged into the queue, Available will show in the left corner. If your permissions are configured to allow you to select specific queues and groups, click the drop-down arrow to receive calls for multiple system queues. To log out of queues, click the Log Out of My Queues icon. To the left you will see not ready. That means you have successfully logged out of the queue. Start and stop taking request. To enter release mode and stop accepting interactions, click the stop taking calls icon. The release timer will be displayed in the upper left corner. To apply a release code, Choose the drop-down and select the appropriate release code. An agent can enter release mode without specifying a reason. You can select a release code to prevent accepting interactions even when you are logged in. Also, you can change release codes without resuming. To exit release mode and resume call interactions, click Start Taking Request icon. The Available status icon will be displayed in the upper left corner. Call interactions. Incoming calls are visible in the call pane. Click the green Accept button to accept a call. In the center pane, interaction information displays which is also referred to as call profile information. The call profile information is predefined by the administrator. In the right pane, if you have the chat ability, this will be displayed here. Chat requires appropriate licensing. To transfer a call, in the right pane, Find the transfer icon and select the extension or agent that you would like to transfer to. To blind transfer, this will transfer the call immediately. When you select, cons select consult, the system contacts the extension or agent and allows you to discuss the transfer with the answering party. Click complete when the transfer is ready to be done. Entering wrap-up. When a voice or chat or email interaction ends, Interaction Center may display a wrap-up information. You can extend the wrap-up to allow for more time to complete wrap-up. When you click Extend, you remain in wrap-up mode until you click End Wrap-up. To associate one or more wrap-up codes with the interaction, enter the wrap-up code name or number in the search field and click on the wrap-up code. To enter wrap-up code during an active intervention, 
Let's answer the call. And you can select the wrap-up code while in progress with a call. You can either end the wrap-up now, extend it, or wait for the timer. Request help from a supervisor. In the right pane, you have your wrap-up code option. And this hand here, this hand icon, is your request help icon. When you select this, an agent can request help from a supervisor. And once you click this icon, the supervisor is alerted and can join your interaction to assist. Monitoring cues. You can monitor your personal cues or pick up an interaction in queue if your account is configured for this ability. Click on the cues tab and you can monitor the cues and the information, resulting information can be sorted by permission. So we see, we can see the caller ID, the name of the call, which group this call came to, and the time that it entered. And if you have permission, you can pick up the call out of queue. Viewing agents. Supervisor permissions allow supervisors to view agent interaction. If you are a supervisor with these permissions, you can view this information by clicking the Agents tab. You can sort agents by typing all or part of an agent name, agent extension, or queue name in the search bar. Also, if you are a supervisor, you can click all to view all agents logged in, or you can click the help request tab to display agents that have requested help. Viewing key performance indicators. Key performance indicators, or KPIs, are located at the bottom of the interaction center. The KPI board displays are configured in the class of service and can include information such as calls in queue, the number of agents logged in, and the number of agents in release mode. You can use this information to determine if it is an appropriate time to go into release mode or to finish wrap-up mode more quickly. This concludes the Agent Contact Center module. A separate module for supervisors can be found in the channel lineup.